Lopuna Blanca, di 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 di. Lopuna Blanca, spend some time with me. Lopuna Blanca, Lopuna Blanca, Lopuna Blanca, Lopuna Blanca. So that simple melody has been going around my head non-stop for the last like nine days. Nine days ago I was I decided to start a diet on um, one of the sacred tree essences essences, Lupuna Blanca. So if you go to their website, sacredtreeessences.com, they got a whole bunch of essences there. And a bunch of people in the Facebook group have tried various of them and I've done a few of them myself. So this is the latest one that I've tried. So the reason I decided to do it was I've been having this huge streak of negativity in my life, like um, like crazy, like everything going wrong, um, being ill. I was like sick three times consecutively. My car broke down. I was having problems with clients. Just everything was going like really negative. Plus, on top of all that, I was having this like my headspace felt negative. I was feeling I was getting into like little sort of thought loops. Um, not not like anything big, but just like negative, negative cycles, you know? And it was like, uh, it's like I, I got to break this somehow. And I was having trouble f like finding the direction to break out, you know? Um, yeah, it was difficult. It was difficult to get out of it, you know? So I thought, you know, if there's one thing I can do, Maybe, maybe what I could do is do a little dieta, and that might just give me the needed energy to break out of the the energetic trap or whatever the hell was going on, you know? So I've got a whole bunch of those essences. I've got like nine, eight of them or something. Um, I've actually, I've, I don't have many of them left actually because my old shaman was, uh, he's really interested in essences too. So I gifted him the original bottles. And I took like half, so he's um, he's now sharing that in Argentina with some with some new people there who are going to be tr dieting some of those things too. Um, so I don't have that much left actually, but I've got a, I've got a little bit of each one. And so the Lupuna I haven't tried yet. You know, I've tried a bunch of them, and the uh, so I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a try. Now what was interesting is because like I've in the if you look at my videos, I've had my fair share of crazy experiences. Um, but what was interesting is in the first two or three days, it was really positive. Now, on their website, uh, Sacred Tree website, they say that, um, you know, it provides confidence and this kind of stuff, you know, and stability. And so I found that to be true. It was like confidence also broke down any fear I had instantly uh, about anything that might happen, you know. felt really confident about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I had a bunch of like sort of minor experiences, but then on the third day, um, I was going to bed on the third night, and as I closed my eyes, extremely realistic visions, um, and this sort of girl came out, beautiful girl, she came out, and her hands were like this, and like they turned into like roots of trees, and it had a sort of dark energy to it. Now it's interesting, there was a, before I started doing it, I did some research looking up other people's experiences, what other people found, and one guy was saying that um, he had done it in the jungle, and he, the way he had seen it is that the um, Lapuna is like a shaft of light, it's kind of like divine or whatever in the jungle, and it's surrounded by good and negative spirits, who are basically there to protect it from people who don't deserve to be there if you will and so he was challenged by these spirits you know like you know what are you doing here you don't deserve to be here human kind of a thing and so I think that that first spirit was the sort of challenge to try and scare me away that girl and so the next day I thought you know nah, maybe you know I've had an interesting experience and and you know some of the negative patterns were breaking up like like um what's the word like uh demonstrably like breaking up i mean there was like things were changing like in the real world so i'm like okay it's kind of it's kind of done its job here you know so i'm like uh 
I'll, I think I'll quit, you know. So the next day I didn't take any drugs, you know, but <clears throat> that song kept going through my head, like, look, 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 uh, and I started getting more information coming down, and it was like, I mean, a whole bunch of stuff, but it might have been saying something like, you know, you can do this, you know, you can do this, and uh, you won't have any problems. I was like, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep doing it, you know. So I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll just keep doing it. So I kept doing it, and um, and I've been, I've been still doing it, you know. And so, so a whole bunch of interesting experiences. But the big thing was it started, it started emerging more and more into my thoughts, where it was almost like a template structure over who I am. And it was sort of proffering um, alternative thoughts or alternative um, alternative ways of thinking from what I might be thinking. And like I was saying, you know, I've been having all these like negative thought thoughts going through my mind, you know. So when that would happen, then that template would become visible and it'd be like, well, you know, the, the, what you're thinking isn't exactly correct. This is correct. And then you'd look at it and you'd have time to analyze it and you'd be like, what am I doing, man? This is crazy. Why am I thinking those stupid things, you know? And so, and you know, I've got like, I, I do have like these sort of negative thoughts, sort of negative self-talk. I don't always have this, but you know, from time to time it returns, you know? And, um, and so, you know, I was thinking, you know, like, um, I wasn't actually thinking this, but, you know, from time to time in life, you think, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to better myself? And, you know, you make these plans to do stuff. It's like the New Year's resolution thing, you know, like people make New Year's resolutions and then by, by February or by January 5th, they've broken them all, right? Because people, we just don't have the, um, often, we don't have the strength or we get the habits are too deeply ingrained to break. And so I was thinking that the other day, you know, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, well, you know, and it wasn't speaking to me like conversationally. It was just like these things were coming through just like, and it was almost like, well, you can lean on me. It was like, you can lean on me. You can, you can lean on that template structure as like a, as a helper to help you focus the mind, you know. Um, I thought, like, you know, that's, that's really good. I, thought, I think I'll do that, you know. And so it's been, it's been, uh, it's been it's been really amazing, and you know I've had a whole bunch of experiences, none of which I can remember at this precise precise moment, um, because they're kind of being overshadowed by an experience which happened today. You know, so well I'll tell you a, a couple of things that happened was yesterday. What happened was um, I usually I've been taking magnesium supplements, right? And uh, I think two weeks ago I ran out of them, and I've been meaning to buy some more. Uh, but the other thing is is like since I've been doing the um, the Lapuna, I'm not taking any medication, you know, so I usually take like uh, Lipitor for blood pressure and so I just quit everything, you know, just so because I don't want any negative interactions. I've been following a good diet and I've been trying to, you know, do it right, you know. Um, but yesterday I was, um, I was in my office and I was just going through some stuff and I came across some magnesium supplements. I'm like, I've got a whole box of these. I was like, I don't believe this. I'm, and without even thinking it, I'm like, fucking great. And I popped a magnesium. And I popped it down and I'm like, oh, I'm like, wait a minute. That might conflict. I don't think it will, you know. But then I was thinking, in my mind, I was thinking, well, magnesium is like a metal. It will create conductivity with the spirit world. This is my mind going off, you know. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll be fine, you know. So, so whatever. And then we... um. About an hour passes, and I've got to go downtown. i got to go and pick up my kids, you know. So I go down with the wife, and we're picking up the kids. And uh, my son's in the car, and um, he's like, oh, Halloween's coming. And he's like, you know, um, they say that's the day of the demons. And uh, I'm sort of zoning out. I'm just driving, you know. But he's going on. And he's like, the demons, and the demons do this, and the demons do that, and the demons, and the demons, and the demons, and the demons. And I'm not really thinking about this, but... What I am sort of noticing, without even listening to him, is I'm thinking, wow, my energy's really rising here, you know, I'm like, I'm getting like a big, a big, I'm feeling mariado, you know, like, that's the 
Peruvian term for mariado actually means drunk, but it's like kind of being, you can feel the medicine. And so I was feeling the medicine like coming into my system. Demons, the demons, and there's the Halloween's about demons. And, and you know, so I'm not really listening to him, but I'm just, I'm sort of focused on like, wow, this this is really quite intense, this uh, mariación. And, um, and then suddenly my wife's like, well, you shut up, our demons. And she's, uh, she was just like, because he was being annoying, you know, not because she was worried about demonic activity or anything. But um, anyway, I'm like, we get home and I start getting a whole bunch of negative influx, big negativity, negative thoughts, demonic signatures, demonic signatures, you know, the kind of stuff I've, the kind of stuff that used to freak me out a lot, you know, I'd be like, fuck. Um, but I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna have to deal with this, you know. Obviously, I'm thinking to myself, the magnesium's done it. It's just because what happens is if you, if you, when you're doing these diets, if you take anything which is even slightly uncool, the plant. Well, I think what I think what happens is these spirits which surround the plant are protecting the plant, and if you do something stupid, which, which uh, cloaks you in negativity they don't want you there. So it's not like the plant attacks you, it's the surf, the spirits that surround the plants attack you to get rid of you, to get you out of the the sacred domain of the tree, is what is going on. Um, so I was getting this sort of psychic attack, but it wasn't that strong, I've had much worse, but it was a sort of mild, I mean it was, it was mildish, mildish sort of psychic attack. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to have to deal with this. So I'm like, uh, I've got some tobacco, so I put like some tobacco, blew some tobacco. I uh, made a, I made some a sort of bowl of water with um, with agua de Florida and ajo sacha, which is often used in floral baths for cleansing. And ajo sacha is known to remove demonic spirits and this kind of stuff. So I like, I went into the shower and bathed in it, put it in my mouth, like the whole thing, and. Um, and then I'm like, fuck it. So I went outside and I w w I'm not, I'm going to meditate into this. So I went out. I had some sketchy moments, but I meditated and I, I won. Hallelujah. So I got in and I did the, uh, I did the shamanic floral bath and uh, I got out of it. Yes. So anyway, um, the, uh, so that seems to have been caused from the magnesium, you know, so there wasn't really, my diet was good and the whole thing. But, uh, anyway, so today I was thinking the same thing. Well, you know, this is like day nine. I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to quit, you know, like, because it was negative yesterday. And I'm like, but I don't want to quit on like a negative note, you know. And that did, you know, I have been leaning on it and it's been really good, you know. So the problem is not the plant. The problem is my, my bad habits, you know, or the, the, you really just need to be, what you need is you need to be in a secluded place where you can't make stupid mistakes like oh my my medicines or whatever you know my normal life's here i'll just forget this whole thing and move on right um but i um uh, i um what am i trying to say here yeah so i was like maybe i'll just leave it right so i uh so today i was i haven't taken any today but Obviously, these plants stay in your system for a long time. So I woke up and I was feeling kind of negative about the whole the whole thing, and you know, like oh, it's too bad, you know. I was like, it was a great it was a great ride while it lasted. I mean, I've had so much, I've had so many information flows, really helpful stuff, you know. And I felt like it was a real strong ally, like a massive ally, you know, just really supportive, and. Um, and also, also magical, because there's something about it, which is there's, um, well, I, I can probably best explain this by my experience today. So I didn't take any day, but I went downtown today to pay some bills. And um, when I was down there, there was a moment when I was walking around town where I just suddenly, suddenly felt like my mind went blank. I'm like, what? I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, now I've had moments of this before, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, I how I've interpreted them before is I've thought uh, not with I've had this before, but not with looking the blank. I just just as a matter of course, but uh, um, the way I've interpreted them before is, is they're sort of like existential moments. You know, I had one several months ago, like four months ago, 
where I was putting gas in the car and suddenly I just, it was like everything went blank and I could feel myself as like, like just sort of standing on a rock, the earth, standing like a piece of flesh standing on a rock. And that's like, what is going on? You know, it was like a real existential moment. And so in town today, it was slightly like that. But then I suddenly realized that actually it wasn't an existential moment. What was happening was that I was being communicated to from a higher level. And you see, it's almost like I did a post in the Facebook group, uh, the Facebook group the other day, and I was mentioning the positive benefits of my experience, you know, uh, like some of the magical experiences I've had with the plant, um, like really deeply magical stuff and um, and the deeply helpful stuff. But then what I realized was that there was some kind of like, uh, there was like, it was almost like, it was almost like I had to raise my consciousness and just, it was just for a short period, but suddenly I was communicating symbolically with the plant but a whole different level. So it wasn't like, I was seeing the Facebook group like, oh, you know, I feel like I'm getting healing and all these typical things you hear from people, you know? like healing and uh, magical but this felt like it was like another level of consciousness and so it was almost like i didn't even know it existed so it sort of it was like it tapped me in the head and was like oh yeah i'm up here i'm up here so i was like what and so i'm like the conscious so it was like my consciousness went up and i'm like oh and it was like communicating symbolically with me and it was like uh this is how you communicate with me like this and I was like, oh man, because you know, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to communicate. I didn't know how to do it. And it showed me how to do it. So it's, anyway, the, the important thing is, and the funny thing is after that, the song came back. The Puna Blanca, spend some time with me. The Puna Blanca, la 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 la. The Puna Blanca. The Puna Blanca, the Puna Blanca, the Puna Blanca. It came back, and it's, now it's going all the time again. And it's almost like it's saying to me, don't go yet, Scott. You've still got things to learn here. The only thing is, you know, that level of consciousness is quite a step up. It's not uncomfortable to go up there. It was something, I, it, was, it was a space I didn't know existed. Like there's these there's these conscious spaces you don't know exist. When I did Chuchuasi, I became aware of a space of consciousness which is like perpendicular to vision, and that was where the spirits came in, right? And then this it seems to be perpendicular, like up here, and it's almost like your consciousness has to like somehow go up or something, you know, to get to that place. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. You know, I'm thinking. I want to continue, but also that vibe yesterday was, it was quite negative and, you know, I'm not real keen on pushing the envelope with any, with any plant. And the other thing is, you know, I had this great experience today, which was positive and points to the possibility of some wonderful new discoveries, which maybe I could do in the future in a more, in a safer jungle environment, for example, you know, um, and I have done a number of days. I'm hearing some, uh, th this camera, the te my telephone is here in a large palm tree and I'm hearing this weird knocking, so knocking sound and I'm thinking, I wonder what that is. Maybe it's a tree? Maybe the tree is talking to me. I think before I started, before I started filming, I, uh, I noticed a large insect crawling into the tree. So I'm, I'm a little, I don't like insects that much. Um, oh, that was uh, some of the visions. I was talking about some of the magical experiences I had, you know. I had that girl with the, the tree trunk fingers, but I also had a bird who flew down, like, astrally. It was, like, in my consciousness. I could see it, and it was, like, singing a song to me. And then another time, this insect was walking past, and I was, like, not in the real world. It was, like, I could, I, I sensed something, I closed my eyes, and I could see it. And it stopped, and it looked at me. And it was, like, on its way to the tree. It was on its way to, to the Lapuna tree. And it didn't attack or anything. It was just it was just on its way to work or something and said hello. Um, <clears throat> a bunch of experiences. I was doing some reading of some Franz Bardon books um, when it, when I got started, and that was one of the reasons I was thinking, "Wow, I can do anything." I felt really confident because I was reading them, and it was like, um, you know, I'd sort of sworn off reading Kabbalah because it's so powerful, you know. Um, but I was reading it and understanding it. And it was cool but like on the fourth day i had to stop because it was like 
it was just too much it was too much information what happens is you see Kabbalah and Tantra both access the same energy fields uh, and they use slightly different language but they're both using sort of elemental magic or planetary magic kind of stuff um, and you see the plant medicines do something similar but with a whole different uh, modus with a whole different structure and you see what happens is that you're sort of combining two systems together and it just doesn't work what happens it's like if you get two perfect waveforms and you ram them into each other what you get is noise right you don't get something beautiful you get something distorted and that's <clears throat> that's res the result so the uh, the lapuna told me to stop stop reading this you know you don't need it because it's already got all that done you know so it's funny if you read Bardon you know he's got a whole bunch of techniques for for uh, evoking spirits and accessing elementary magic and all this kind of stuff but if you do Lupuna Blanker you're doing this already it's basically what it is but in a much more protected environment essentially you know so really really interesting experience it's been one of the best experiences I've had even with the negativity and you know actually the negative the negative attack thing I had was actually cool because um because I handled it you know like uh I handled it like shamanically without like taking a Valium or something, you know, it was just like, okay, here it is, recognize it, fumigate it, eliminate it, and back to normal, you know, so I feel quite good about the whole vibe, it's been a great nine days, and i um, really happy about it, so Lapuna Blanca, it's, I think it's one, it's the, it's one of the largest trees in the Amazon, if not the largest. If you look at pictures of the Amazon, there's often trees which rise above the canopy. And it's often La Puna Blanca, which is the tree, because it's that big. <clears throat> so it's a huge tree. And when I started taking it, I could feel my consciousness rising up as if to the canopy. I mean, that was one of the cool things. It was like, I could feel like sort of getting lifted up. And it is interesting that when it contacted me, I had to go up. So it's kind of like, it's because it's such a huge force. So you have to go up to its level. Wow. It's so cool. These plants, these plants, one of the things about the plants is they're so, they've got so much integrity, you know. It's, you know, like people always talk about gurus and, oh, I don't know if I can trust this guru or this guru. And, of course, the famous Terence McKenna phrase is trust plants, follow plants, don't follow gurus, follow plants, which I've taken issue with from time to time. But, you know, there is, you can follow some plants. I'm not sure of the big psychedelics. The big psychedelics maybe present too much information, but these master plants are like perfect for communing and following. So these um, trees are really like great teacher plants who I think you can follow, you know, um, if you have, to, but you have to, you have to be a person of integrity. You know, it's very much like, doing like m traditional magic you know if if you are like Franz Bardon says you know if you're not a balanced cleansed person you're going to go bananas and that's it same thing with these trees you got to be balanced and cleansed which is half of what the shamans do so um that's it for this week I'll talk to you guys uh I'll talk to you guys later uh, I seem to have lost the lighting here that's it for this week I'll talk to you guys later hope everything is cool um, everything seems to be getting better for me here, so fingers crossed that that continues. Peace out.